to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake The whole night trucker station came to an end But behold a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Well good morning, good morning everybody It is uh, looking like it's a little dark out here today but I'm not leaving any later or earlier than yesterday. But this is just a difference what you get when you get further north. Yep. It is very, very noticeable that I am going further north. Not just with the sunrise and sunset, but also with the temperature. Yeah. It went down to like 12 degrees this night and uh, all the other nights it was so hot that I actually had to use my AC. I remember up there in uh, Dallas, it only went down to like 24 overnight or something like that. It was pretty, uh, pretty warm over there. So that's when I really get to enjoy my APU unit. But uh, anyways, we are ready to get out of this place. Oh no, I see there's a truck in there. Let me see what I can show you. Yeah, I don't know if he wants to wash his truck or what, but uh, anyways, let's get out of here and have ourselves a fantastic Sunday. I hope you guys do the same. Hope you enjoyed your weekend and you're going to have a blast Sunday. And remember, tomorrow is uh, Monday again. Some of you might be back to work, although we as truck drivers, we have to work no matter what time of the day it is or what day of the week it is, you know. Anyways, let's get out of here. We are cruising along here on US 81. Just going through a little bit of a town here in the middle of nowhere in Nebraska. Yeah. I don't know exactly what it's called up here. But Stormberg, I think that's what a GPS says there. That's what it's called. Yep, we got 1145 miles to go up to our delivery yet. We won't make it there today. That's all right. We'll get there tomorrow. Well, I just figured I'd show you guys a little bit of a town here in uh, Nebraska. Still nice and green up here, though. It really is. Okay, so I got up early this morning, got her going, because I want to have me uh, a big day again today, and, and then another big day tomorrow, and then we'll be in Madison Hat. Yeah, three full hard-working days. That's right. Yep. I don't know what this here to the left is, that red stuff. I know what it is in German, but I don't know how you call that in uh, English. So if anybody is out there that knows what you call that stuff there in English, would you mind leaving that in a comment down there below? Because I would really like to know what they call it in English. Up here to the right, they got that same thing. Uh, I know I grew up with that in South America, and I'll tell you what it is called in German. German we call it Kaffir. <laughs> it may sound weird to you, but uh, that's what we call it in German. Röda Kaffir. That means red, whatever that stuff is in English. Anyways, uh, this is corn, we know that. I know that English name, but that stuff we don't see up in Canada. I've never seen it in Canada yet. So I would, I would kind of, I would kind of be interested to know what they actually call it in English. So, so give me a comment down there below, and I will know as well. Hopefully, I can pronounce it. <laughs> if not, I'll get my wife to help me with that. Or if not, then maybe my son. We'll figure out. If not, maybe Truck and Jukebox can help me. <laughs> Somebody out there will probably know what it is, but it ain't me. Yep, that's right. Well, we're having a fantastic day. Actually, this back road up here is actually pretty good. You know, I mean, it's uh, nice and smooth, actually. 
for the most part you know you always have a couple stretches where it's a little rough but for the most stretch this highway up here in uh, Nebraska South Dakota North Dakota they got pretty good highways you know and, uh, don't know exactly how far we're gonna make it I don't think that I can make it up to Minot North Dakota but we'll check it out later see if we can make it up to there or not but for now we're just gonna cruise her along here and have ourselves a blast day fantastic awesome day that's all we can do right no we can always have a bad day too I guess but I'm always trying to stay positive you know that we're gonna have a good day somebody said one time to me you wake up in the morning and you tell yourself you're gonna have a good day 99% out of the time. 130 and 12. ME 92. You are going to have a good day if you put that in your head. Most of the times, all the stuff is in your head. If you tell yourself you're going to have a good day, you most likely will. If you're going to tell yourself in the morning you're going to have a crappy day, well, you most likely will have a crappy day. And that's my two cents of it. So let's put the hammer down. Well, we're on a cruise, but we have ourselves a fantastic day. You see it at the truck shows, out there on the open road, even in the driveway at his house. Johnny keeps it spit shine, shining on it all the time. He wants it looking good when he goes out. Why do people laugh at him and shake their head when he pulls in the parking lot? He's just another trucker man trying his best to fit right in, but fit or not. Purple. He drives a roll purple Peter and he don't care how people feel about it. Cause that roll purple Peter built looks so good it makes him feel so proud of it. Some drivers call him sissy man, but he don't let it get to him, he'll shout it. He drives a royal purple Peterbilt, and he don't care how people feel about it. Yeah. He'd have a green one, although he's never seen one that looks as good as what he's got right now. Black might look more manly, or red like Christmas candy might help his clearance lights and chrome stand out. Then maybe that would be enough to end the jokes about his truck from all his friends. But he'll live with the teasing, cause he ain't out for pleasing the one but him. He drives a roll purple Peter Bilt and he don't care how people feel about it. Cause that roll purple Peter Bilt looks so good it makes him feel so proud of it. Some drivers call him sissy man. Well guys, we are just about to enter South Dakota. Yeah. Looks like the water level is a lot higher in these rivers up here now. I guess because of all the rain that we have had lately. But isn't this gorgeous going across this beautiful bridge? I like it. They did a really, really good job on this bridge, I think. Yep, I think Crossing they did. Border. There Entering we go. South Dakota. Oh, we are officially in South Dakota. Yeah, now we only got to go through South Dakota and North Dakota and uh, we'll be entering into Saskatchewan later on. Not today, but I don't think so. No, not today. We'll be entering Saskatchewan tomorrow. Yakonto or whatever they call this town. I have no idea. I know I've been through this town many times before, but yeah, well, here we are. So we'll continue on with our journey and we shall see you guys a little bit later. It is time to make a pit stop. We've been on the road now for, well, I guess four and three quarter hours. 
So it is time to make a pit stop. Yep, I'm getting hungry. Wait, station sure. ahead. I remember being here one time before and I got these big ass glasses. Continue for, on this road uh, for 21 miles. Your drink, you know? I remember that. So we're gonna go in here and uh, grab ourselves a bite to eat to go use the restroom. Need to go ASAP. Just kind of waiting for a traffic light to change, but I guess it doesn't want to change. But anyways, it's uh, been a, like I said, four and three quarter hours already that I've been driving, so it is definitely time to go and take a leak and get me a bite to eat. I am hungry. Yes, sir, Bob, I am. And I ain't gonna go to McDonald's to have anything to eat. No, sir, Bob. I'm not feeling like going to McDonald's. I'm gonna go to this possible. truck stop. Way station ahead. We'll see what kind of goodies they got in here. That's right. So, let's go park this truck and see what we can find in there. I know they got a subway in here, but I had subway Proceed last to night. They don't really feel like subway either, but they do have a restaurant in here, and we'll go have a bite to eat in there. Yeah, they even have a shop in there too. That's nice. Let's go find ourselves a parking spot somewhere. We saw a few ones open over there. I think we'll go pull her in there and. Oh, hurry up inside. We can make our turn in here. Looks like it's a little tight to get into a spot up here, I guess. But I saw an open spot further along there, so let's see if we can pull her in there. Oh boy, that's going to be hard to pull her in there. Oh my goodness. Yikes. Yeah, that's going to be a little challenge there. But I'm going to have to see if we can make that happen we'll see if we make this happen let's see Ooh, no that's not gonna happen wish the swift would have gone a little tiny bit further then I could have made it yeah that's not gonna happen so all right I guess we'll have to try that other spot there's another spot up there. So I guess I could try that. See if that will work. And I'll back her onto the scale up there. Now I can get me a longer swing up there. Yeah. Anyways, let's go park this thing and then uh, we'll see you guys inside. Alrighty guys, it's time for some lunch. So that's how I look. There we go some nice ribs so that's all the goodie it is time to get out of this place I am so stuffed now oh I feel like just going back to the bed and have me a little snooze you know <laughs> but I don't think you guys know this I did not have breakfast this morning so I was kind of hungry yes I was but we got it done. That was some nice ribs. Take the entrance to the right. That seriously was. Way station ahead. It is definitely worth stopping in here again. I will mark this down in my secret weapon book. And if I ever come through here again, I will try to remember that. That is a good eating place. I know I stopped in here one time before, but I had breakfast at that time. And it was good then too. So it's always good food in here, it sounds like. But now we gotta get the, down the road, otherwise we don't get any miles behind us. Continue on this road for 21 miles. We just cannot. Park just wherever we want. 
take the snooze. I guess we could for a little while, but I already been in there for a long time. It was extremely busy in there today. That restaurant was full. I mean, there was not many spaces empty there. But I guess that just goes to show. And it's good food. People will come. They will come and have a nice meal. Yes, sir, Bob. Yep, but it's a gorgeous day out here. We got, uh, we are on the I-90 uh, I, uh, right now. We got 20 miles to go. And we got to turn on to that 287. No, 281. 281. And start heading north towards uh, Minot, North Dakota. Yes, sir. That's right. So, let's put the hammer down. Oh, I can hardly talk now. <laughs> I'm just so full. So let's have ourselves a good afternoon and get down some uh, down the road and put in some good miles. So, hey guys, we are still cruising along uh, US 281. Yeah, it looks like they got a bridge out or something up here. So we. Uh, got a temporarily bridge up here it looks like the temporary temporary bridge whatever you want to call it while they fix up the other bridge up there yeah look at that eh i don't know what it is today i just don't really feel like making videos <laughs> i'll be honest with you guys i'm i'm kind of lazy today with making the videos don't really know what to talk about today Everything is quiet, not much of a scenery out here, you know, but hopefully we can uh, still make it interesting enough for you guys to like it though. I mean, we do we do try every day to have a nice interesting video, but uh, hey, sometimes I get bored of it too, you know, making the videos or you make a video every single day, you know, that's... Uh, that becomes a full-time job, you know, you got to put the thinking box into it and uh, figure out on what are you going to talk about and uh, try and make it as interesting as you can possibly possibly do so that you guys uh, are all tuned in and uh, watching it. And uh, But hey, if you guys do have some videos uh, that, uh, that I have made that you guys really like, Hey, why don't you go ahead and share it? Because that will help me spread the word. And that way more people will see it. And in essence, that will help me grow bigger, you know? Not me, but the channel, you know what I mean? <laughs> see how I did that? Anyways. We are just having a blast anyways. Yep. I don't think I can make it to Minot today, but uh, we're about 75 miles away from I-94. And then uh, we'll make a little left-hand turn and go a few miles and we'll go continue on on uh, US-82. Or 281, I meant to say. Well, they're trying to sell some pumpkins up there. Yeah. Anyways, let's continue on with our journey and uh, see what all we can show you guys. I got a, uh, 18, uh, 18 miles and then I will be done for today. Yes, sir, Bob. 18 more miles. That's it. I won't have as big of a day today as yesterday, but that's okay. I'll have about uh, 640 miles left to do for tomorrow. That's good enough for me. Don't really have to drive any further today. I'm lazy today. I don't know why, but I just feel lazy today. So we'll go up to this truck stop over here and call it a day, I think. Tomorrow is Monday, so tomorrow is back to a working day. I figure today is Sunday. I am just going to go take it easy. Yeah. Well, we'll still have probably about... Uh, 
I don't know, maybe about 10 hours, maybe nine and three quarter hours in the logbook worth the driving in today. That's not bad. It's not terrible, but not our full 11 hours today, but tomorrow it will be our full 11 hours again, but yeah. So we'll uh, put the hammer down to our uh, truck stop and I guess we'll put the uh, video together and uh, try and upload it to YouTube yet and I guess uh, we'll see you guys over there. This is it guys, we are coming into the town where I'm going to be spending the night at. Yeah, that is correct. Yeah, I guess time to take the sunglasses off. Yeah, I've been in this town many times before. I slept here many times before for the night, you know. I actually had truck problems in this town one time, although it wasn't my truck. I was still driving for an owner operator. I was driving, uh, I believe it was a it was a Volvo as well. But it was a different truck, it wasn't this truck. And I was having some electrical issues with that truck. Pulled into the truck stop, parked there, no problem. Went to go use the restroom and I wanted to leave right away. It was like in, in the morning. And uh, tried to start it up. My truck would never start again, never. This is the history of that. What we ended up having to do is uh, the owner operator had to hire a tow truck, tow it all the way over to Fargo, which I think is like two and a half hours. Took it into the shop over there. They couldn't figure out what was wrong with it either. By the time they got it over there, I guess the wires had moved a little bit or whatever, and it started up no problem. Absolutely no problem at whatsoever. And. Uh, got down to uh, Alberta on home not a single problem again got back out and went up to uh, Edmonton and had the same problem again Get 600 feet turn left on US 52 yeah wow this uh, this place looks like it's under construction I hope they still allow us to park in here though my goodness man oh man that looks like we're That one looks pretty blocked off over there. I don't know if we can actually pull in over there. Well, we should be able to. Yeah, I think they just don't want us to pull in this way. I think we can go up there. Yeah, that looks like it. Yeah, this, this place is under construction. Looks like this whole building is uh, being redone or something like that. Wow, they... They really only have a few parking spots in here now. Look at this, this was old parking here before. Miles. Well, I guess you could still park here, but over there where the gravel is, this old used to be parking here, you know? I guess they want to put some new asphalt. It looks like they put some asphalt down here. That was, I don't think there was asphalt here before, so. But, hey, at least we still have an open spot up here. At least right now. Yeah, they're definitely adding on to that building. You can see that. Oh, yeah. Just gonna swing her around real tight like that. Proceed to the highlighted route. Try and park beside that truck over there. There we go. Should be able to do it. Yep. Oh yeah, no problem. So let's back in over here and uh, call it a day. We are done. We are done. That's right. But anyways, I wasn't finished telling you guys the story about my truck problem there. I, uh, when I was in Edmonton, I had that problem again. 
took it over to Wall Wall. Turn right on 67th Avenue North. Over, you pass 281 and then turn right in 400 feet. Couldn't really find anything wrong with the truck either. Cost them 600 bucks to get it looked at. And I got back home, uh, back uh, to, uh, uh, I think it was uh, Lloyd Minister. And uh, I was having the same problem again. Played around with it for about two hours, got it started again. I went home, and then the uh, boss's son looked at it, and uh, he found that there was a bunch of wires that were corroded and stuff like that. And then he was able to fix it, never had a problem after that. So that's the story of that. So we'll be right back. I'll go do my logbook and we will close the show later on. That's it guys. We are done for today. Yeah, we're getting ready to go to bed here pretty darn soon. I am tired. And tomorrow we got a long day ahead of us again. So uh, let's go to bed and have ourselves a good night's sleep. Much needed sleep. And uh, we'll see you guys again tomorrow. So thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video give me a big thumbs up and if you liked it very much share it and if you are new to our channel hey we would love to have you on board by hitting that subscribe button yes so thank you guys everybody and we will see you again tomorrow have a good day behind me that day is gonna come